Welcome to Live at Five. What we've been doing at Live at Five is we've been going through some of the Psalms. We've been in Psalm 19. Now, in Psalm 19, David, who's the author, writes about God revealing himself to us. And there's two types that he talks about. General revelation, which is, which is creation. That we can see creation and we see that there is a God. And then special revelation is where God reveals himself in his word. And so the first part of Psalm 19 is general revelation. The second part, starting in verse 7, is special revelation. And what David does is he tells us six things about the special revelation. And then he gives his response to it. So listen to the words. In verse 7, we see two things that he tells us about special revelation. In verse 7, it says, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise simple. The first thing we see is the law, that, that the word of God is perfect, which means complete. That's what the word means. And what it means is that is the Bible covers everything covers turns us from sin it tells us it tells us and leads us through tough times it also feeds us spiritually so it's perfect it also says in verse 7 the second thing it says is it's trustworthy we can trust the word of god in verse 8 we see two more things david tells us about the word of god verse 8 it says the precepts of the lord are right rejoicing the heart commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. What he's talking about is two things. It brings joy. When you and I live by the word of God, it brings joy. Now remember, happiness is based on outside circumstances. The joy comes from the Lord. Joy comes from the heart. And when you and I are living for the Lord, it brings joy. Also, it gives light. Every one of us has some type of darkness just do this. It's our sin nature. And the Word of God shines a light on that darkness. And it, and it shows us things that we need to work on. Verse 9, there's another one. He says, The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. The fifth thing he says there is that it, is it endures forever. The Word of God will last forever. The earth will not last forever. The sky will not last forever. The sun and the moon won't last forever. But God's word will always, always last forever. Then verses 10 through 11, it says, More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, the drippings of the honeycomb. More over by them is your servant warned. Keeping them, there is great reward. The word warns us tells us about things that we need to keep away from. And also, the word of God tells us that God will reward us for living for him, living by the way. Now David reacts, and he reacts two different ways to, uh, to his writings about the word, general revelation, special revelation. You see this in verse 14, it says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. My rock, my redeemer. The two things that David responds, what he says is, he says, I will go to the Lord in prayer. This is so cool, he's saying, general revelation, special revelation, that I will go to God, and I will pray, and I will tell him the truth, and I, and I will tell him the deepest things in my heart. David also calls God his rock and his redeemer. The word redeemer there is referring to salvation. And we know our God, Jesus Christ, redeems us. He also says, He is my rock, which means I can build a life of him. So that's what David says in Psalm 19. He talks about general revelation, creation. He also talks about special revelation, which is his word. Again, thanks for joining us. Let me just say a prayer here. If you will. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for both general revelation and special revelation. Father, thank you for loving us so much. In Christ's name.